Pat here from Rain Country. God is good all the time. Well, I'm sitting here today in a 2002 Volvo dump truck I recently acquired. And there's a few little things that I've been doing to it. I put a CB in it. I installed electric brake actuator for my trailer that has electric brakes. Uh, this truck only had air brake connections for it. So we're doing a few little things to, you know, it's a 2002, so it has a few little odds and ends that are wrong wrong with it, but really not much. It's in really good shape. Uh, so one of the things that I, I guess I'm addicted to is coffee. <laughs> so one of the things I wanted to update was a coffee cup holder. And this is something that you guys can pretty readily do in any piece of equipment, your excavators, your backhoes, cats, or whatever. And it's a pretty simple little design. I'm sure I didn't invent it. I'm sure there's a lot of a lot of people around that do this. But just in case you're unaware, uh, this is going to be a video on a pretty easy to install cheap cup holder. So what we have here is we have a couple of spots to where you can put coffee. But of course, every coffee cup is different size and different shape, different depth or my coffee cup won't fit in here very well. This is an old county truck. It had uh, radio equipment in here at one time. And I'm assuming that this was for a big radio or some sort of control. Uh, it used to be a snow plow on this truck and a couple other little deals, a sander and whatnot. So what I plan on doing is I'm going to leave this piece in here and I'm going to put a cup holder right here and I'm going to put a cup holder right here. So this piece is actually two inch by a quarter inch thick. And so I'm going to drill and tap into here and thread this. And I'll show you why I'm going to do that. That's to hold the, that's to mount the coffee cup holder. And you can make a cup holder out of a piece of round ABS pipe, which is, is what I'm going to do. It's three inch ABS pipe. Or if your cups are bigger, you can use maybe 4-inch PVC or something along those lines. Any size pipe that will accommodate your cup. And that particular size that I'm talking about, that 3-inch uh, ABS plastic, it's going to be able to flex in and out to accommodate and hold secure your cup. So when I get done, you guys are going to be amazed at how easy it is to do that and how convenient it is as well. Uh, there's nothing like having a good hot cup of coffee and while you're on the road. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started. I'll take you along for the ride. So what I have here is a piece of uh, three inch ABS schedule 40 ABS pipe. And I'm gonna cut this at four inches long. Now you can cut these at any length that you want but just bear in mind the deeper it is or the longer it is the more stiffer the pipe is going to be for the flexibility but if I make this four inches long and if I feel it's just still still too tight to uh, catch my cup then I can remove it and then shorten it up a little bit to release a little bit of tension on the holder itself so I'm going to start with four inches Now here we are over at the table saw, and there's a couple of different ways you could do this, I suppose. One is to do this on a bandsaw. You can have the bandsaw cut. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut a slice out of here, and that will be done on the table saw. So that doesn't have to be any particular width, but I'm going to go for about a one inch uh slice in here so we're going to start the table saw up and this is not a safety video you do this on your own risk so i'm going to raise my blade just up enough to where it uh, clears the inside
one thing I like to do is I always like to stand to the left when I'm uh, cutting, cutting, just in case something like this grabs and shoots it this way. Go ahead and get this sanded down. Sand all the rough edges off of it. Okay, once you get them sanded down, you get a nice radius on the inside so you don't cut your finger when you're grabbing your cup or installing your cup or cleaning out the truck or whatever. And um, what you have to do is find out what where the center is back towards the uh, end of your piece of pipe. Well, there might be another sophisticated way of doing this, but what I've done is I kind of I eyeballed it. I centered the centered the pencil here on that opening, and I looked to see about where the center of that is on the back side. Now I know that that's not an exact science, and I suppose if a guy really wanted to be precise on it, he would have a center finder. Or, you could just do it, it's not going to matter a whole lot, but I can take and hold the pencil just like you see see right now. got the pencil cradled in the palm of my hand, and I got the end to where I think center is, as I'm holding that pencil to the back side of the cup holder. And I'll take a measurement, and that's a one and three eighths, and that's one and a quarter. So I can move the pencil over a little bit. And that's one and three eighths, and then we're centered back here. So then I can put a line right there, and that's going to be the middle of where the opening here is. And why do you? need to have it back here like this well that's a good question I'm glad you asked it what I got to do is I got to drill a hole through this and what I have to do after the fact is I have to be able to run a screwdriver in here to run these screws into that two inch piece of piece of angle iron if you're off it's no big deal and sometimes people may want to uh, go in at an angle of sorts, but you have to be make sure that you can get your your screwdriver on your fastener Now what a guy could do is he could just drill a hole completely through this and completely through that other piece of Metal and then put a nut on the back side like a locking nut or something and then you can put that anywhere on here if you want to but I, I'm electing to try to thread that two inch piece. So I got to do two, one of two things. I have to cut this off so it doesn't protrude through that two inch piece because I want to do something else with that two inch piece and I'm undecided as to where I can make that a, a little filing box or something or a place to uh, hang a garbage bag or something like that. I'll make use of it at any rate. So what we'll do is uh, we'll mark this that piece that this is going to mount to is two inches. So I want the top, this is to say this will be the top of my cup holder, and I want the top to be at the same elevation or same height as that two inch uh, piece of metal that I'm gonna mount this to. What I'm electing to do is I'm just gonna go a half inch from the top and then a half inch from the bottom where that two inch piece of uh, that two inch flat bar is going to be. And I've already done this, but I'll show you how I, I did this. I select how I selected my bit is I have this gauge. Uh, you find the bolt that you're going to use and you find the hole that it falls into. And that's a, a 15 64th bit that I'm going to use for the project. Now I can just eyeball this and drill it, or I can use a use a square. And being I got a square pretty handy, I will line up the square with my line at the top here. So I have this line right here, and that's going to be the center. I got the flat part of the square resting on this. 
Okay, so that should be straight up and down with the pipe. And I could do this in a drill press or I can do it right here just like you're seeing it. Okay, I'll verify a fitment of my fastener and it fits. Now you're going to ask me, well, what in the world am I going to do about this, the head of this thing? Because it's going to fasten in from this way. Well, I got that protruding out there. And that's going to stop my cup from setting in there right. Well, I need to recess that or countersink it. So I need to get an extension. Now you can do the same thing with a larger drill bit. It doesn't make as clean a cut, but basically what you would do is you'd find the drill bit that's the same size as the top of the head of the fastener. And... This is uh, pretty close to being the right one. These uh, work really good on PVC and plastic. These chamfer bits, I guess you'd call them. Uh, so now that goes down and it clears the bottom of that and it, the head does not protrude up into the, the top of the pipe. So that's going to work out perfectly. Cuts a lot cleaner if it's if it's slower. Next, I have to determine how deep or how much of this I need to cut off. If the uh, piece that I'm mounting to is a quarter of an inch and I don't want it to protrude past there, it's I simply just measure out past the end of this as I'm holding the fastener in with my finger. I can measure to a quarter of an inch and make a little line as noted on my fingernail, remeasure to verify and that little black line right there is where I'm going to cut that fastener off. So I'll do that twice. I just got done with another project and I haven't cleaned up uh, any from that so I just wanted to hurry up and get this done uh, before it starts to rain. It looks like it's going to rain on us. I'm going to leave that puppy sitting right there because I'm sure it's pretty hot. Now instead of grabbing that other one and burning my fingers, I'll mark another one just the same way I did that one. If that was cooled down, I could take it and stand these up together and take a measurement off of that other fastener. That one's cooling down. I'll clean this one up. Now we need to figure out what tap to use, so take this, it's already got the finished edge on it, and find out which die will fit this. Now again, this, you don't necessarily have to tap, you can run a, run a bolt clear through whatever it is you're trying to fasten to if you can. So what we got here is a metric and it is going to be six millimeter okay that's what we need right there now there's a couple of different things that we can do here i could have lined this up from the beginning and then drilled through this you know holding these together somehow like with a clamp i could have took a pair of vice grips or something and clamped this in place and then drilled the bottom one taking it back off and then put the chamfer on here but uh, I think I can get this just fine the way it is without um, a whole lot of anguish so what I'm going to do is I'm going to line the holes up I just want the top these two pieces right here to be at the same same height and about centered where this is perpendicular to this piece now I've got the two holes that sharpie 
ended up being pretty pretty doggone good as far as getting me a precise hole so I'm going to see if I can line the drill up without having to get a hole punch and punch a hole there now right next to the seat with the back of the drill so that will help me to put a little pressure on this so my drill isn't wandering so I'm paying attention to that in the center of the hole the drill is is right in the center of that black dot that I put on there so the hole is disappearing as I'm penetrating I've got everything square Okay, now we're ready to install it. I'll just be putting the Phillips screwdriver right in that little slot. Now you could put a little bit of Loctite in there, some red Loctite or some blue. Um, I'm not really worried about that, but that is really solid. So now what I was talking about earlier was this has flexibility, see? That'll bend out. This side can't because because it's up against this uh, box right here, but uh, I'll go grab my coffee cup and see how it fits. Now this happens to be a Yeti, uh, so you just twist it in there like that. So that fits in there pretty solid. It's not going anywhere, but if it has a tendency to want to work its way out, because this might be too tight, which I don't think it is, I can take some off of the bottom and make this not so tight, and. I can get it further up around the top of the cup. I had a Stanley cup that was actually just straight up and down. It was like a cylinder. And it would fit right inside these things real nice. And if you wanted to, you can cut these just the size of your handle and cut a U-shape in here and leave this rigid. And, you know, then the cup can fall right in there. And it can fall up against the bottom of the handle and it would hold it just like some of your other cup holders that you see out there. Now it just seems like every cup is a different size shape. <laughs> and you never have the right size in your in your rig or your piece of equipment. But uh, I've done this on a couple of different things and it works out real well. Uh, you can get ABS and you can get um, like a sewer pipe. You can get uh, electrical conduit. Uh, make it out of all kinds of different things uh, depending on the size that you need to accommodate the size of cup you got. Well, anyways, I hope you guys found this resourceful and I'm going to get another one made. Thanks for stopping by. Take care and God bless.